as uh, you must know, Alzheimer's disease is a multifactorial pathology where uh, besides uh, the deposition of amyloid beta and neurofibrillary tangles, there is other alteration affecting neurons. Among, uh, among them, there is uh, synaptic plasticity defect, but also mitochondrial dysfunction. Uh, what it is um, important to note is that this mitochondrial dysfunction has been linked to the toxic amyloid beta peptide that has been uh, first shown to localize inside mitochondria to interact with different proteins and to affect different mitochondrial functions. Uh, but uh, besides the amyloid beta fragment, there is other toxic fragments that are produced but the precursor that we know as amyloid precursor protein producing amyloid beta but other fragments. And the project has uh, investigated the contribution of other fragments besides amyloid beta to this mitochondrial dysfunction. So in this work, we uh, uh, investigated the specific contribution of this amyloid precursor protein C-terminal fragments independently of amyloid beta peptide to mitochondrial dysfunction. And we analyze mitochondrial structure, which is the morphology, mitochondrial function, and also a mechanism which is known as mitophagy, which is a mechanism by which dysfunctional mitochondria are eliminated and degraded. And what we observe by using different models starting from cells to mice to human brains, that this APPCT C-terminal fragments accumulation is uh, strictly linked to this mitochondrial dysfunction, all this paradigm structure, function, and this mitophagy defect. The most important finding, I think, is that uh, we observe the same thing uh, uh, in uh, experimental models of Alzheimer's disease as in human brains. So we investigated the accumulation of this APPCTF and investigated the uh, correlation between this accumulation and mitochondrial uh, mitophagy defect. And we found in fact that there is a, a strict correlation between these two paradigms.